Welcome to Yoga for Restoring Vitality, presented by Crescent Pelvic Health and Wellness. In today's practice, we begin with the breath of joy, a three-part inhale and one long exhale, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. The inhale swings the arms in front, out to the side and overhead, and the exhale allows the body to fold down to the ground. This breath is intended to bring energy into the body so that we can set ourselves centered. On our next breath, inhale, open the arms wide, chest expansion for an inhale through the nose, and then exhale and bring the hands to palm center in Anjali Mudra, reminding ourselves that it is our breath that grounds us. And as we stand, we find our base, our feet connecting to the ground pressing through the heels and the balls of the feet and allowing that strength to radiate up into our body. Stepping wide onto the mat for a straddle wide pose, place the hands to the hips and forward hinge fold from the hips sending back but leading with the heart center to come forward. Our movement is a figure eight movement with the hands allowing the upper body to swing and the movement really beginning from the heels and the feet, the knees bending, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, switching directions and allowing again the body to flow, creating space throughout the back of the body, especially the thoracic back rib area so that the breath can more freely enter into the body on an inhale. Anchoring the hands to the ground with a big knee bend pose to make this possible, reminding ourselves that we are centered. We find our space from the inside out with our breath in and out through the nose. Safely returning to a standing position by hinging again at the hips and leaning with the heart center to come up to tall standing placing the feet and the body forward to the short edge of the mat, we exhale and forward fold down to the ground and find ourselves moving into a downward facing dog position, pressing through the hands, hinging back with the hips and beginning to bend the knees and pedal with the feet, again creating space along the back of the body. Reminding ourselves again that the breath into the body creates length and the breath out of the body settles the body back into its space. Allowing this breath to guide our holding position in downward facing dog. Inhaling and in length. Exhaling, settling into the body's space. Coming to all fours and then lowering the body down to the ground. We place our hands out wide to the outside of the mat and press into the fingertips and thumb tip while we cup the hand or the palm. Here we begin to circle around the shoulders and the rib cage as is comfortable. These can be small movements, these can be big movements. The hands can be placed wide outside of the mat or they can come into the mat closer to the body for some more support. Here the purpose is to create space around the back of the body and the side of the body for the inhale. Thinking to ourselves about a 360 breath, a breath that really does come into the body and move around the body. We'll place then the forearms on the mat so that the elbows are just under the shoulders and the arms, forearms, hands are shoulder width apart. We'll lift up gently into a sphinx holding pose where the tops of the feet, the knees and the thighs are on the ground. From the pubic symphysis upward into the navel center, we are lifting gently but just off the mat. For a visual or a sensation in the body, feel as if somebody just slipped an ice cube underneath the stomach and we don't want the cold to touch us. Gently lift enough to avoid the ice cube, but not high enough to be into a plank. 
This Sphinx Hold Pose should create a little fatigue in the body and allow the breath to guide the movement. We can stay in a Sphinx Hold as long as we'd like and then transition into Child's Pose with that same pressing palm, pressing fingertips and lifting palm or cupping palm stance to activate the back of the body so that the breath can come in more freely around the body. For our next few poses, both grab a blanket and a block and we'll use the block first for a brow center massage. We can sit in a wide leg child's pose, a closed leg child's pose, as we hinge forward and place the ridge of the eyebrows, the brow ridge, just to the edge of the block and rolling the head from side to side, we're giving ourselves a brow center massage. If we feel tension at any point, we can stay there and just lightly hold into the block to allow the tension to release. Placing the block to the side of the mat, We'll break again, bring the forearms to the mat and the top of the head gently placed on the mat with light pressure. We're practicing rabbit pose, modified rabbit pose, by gently rocking over the crown center. The light pressure is stimulating for the top of the head, releasing tension and unwinding the myofascial lines that run down the body, but it is very light pressure. After rabbit pose, grab the blanket and transition to a supine lying down position. We're going to practice reclined butterfly or reclined bound angle with a blanket that is folded longwise so that we have enough blanket to wrap around and under the hips and around the thighs for support in our reclining butterfly pose. The blanket should feel like a gentle hold so that the legs as they are opening out to either side feel supported and not as if you have to hold the legs in place. The soles of the feet are gently pressed together and the body begins to settle. And as we inhale, we think length into our body and strength into our space. And as we exhale, we feel the space and settle. Following the guide of my words, mentally, as we inhale and we feel the hands on the ground, heavy. We feel the left hand heavy, the right hand heavy and we exhale. As we inhale, we feel the back of the body and the shoulders heavy and settling into the ground. And as we exhale, we feel space inside our bodies. And as we inhale, we feel length and strength down our spine to our hips. And as we exhale, we settle. As we inhale, we feel our legs supported and our feet strong and supported. And we exhale. Namaste.